Hi, my name is Julia Shashier and I'm a senior at Chelsea High School. I read the letter like five or six times to make sure it was right um, and then I thought they made a mistake at first um, but then I was just super excited that it was unexpected so that's almost better than expecting you get a perfect score and so I was just really extremely proud and happy. Yeah, Julia was one of, uh, I believe, 31 in about 146,000 kids took the AP macro test. So that put her in, uh, according to her math, 0.02% of the group who took it. It's pretty remarkable. I was in his room, I guess, every single morning. Um, I studied on the bus on the way back from tournaments, and um, I took so many notes, I call it like the macro bible that I wrote like, so much, but um, it took a lot of work, but I'm really happy that I did it. I mean, did you, when you were going, taking it, did you feel like you were doing pretty well on it? Um, I, I went, I walked out of there knowing I got a five, but I definitely didn't expect to get a perfect score. I knew I did well, but. Last, uh, last year when she had me for AP Econ as a junior, she was scoring, so it's out of 90 points, she was scoring in the low to mid 80s on all the practice tests. So pretty much a lock to get a five, but perfect score wise, that's gonna be really tough. Make up those four or five questions and start nailing them. She walked out of the exam and I you know, said, how do you think you did? She said, I think I missed probably three or four, I guess not, no chance at a perfect score. Uh, and I had a number of kids who were like, I think I missed one point, I think I missed two points. So Julie was kind of like, no chance. Um, and what impressed me is she obviously put that work in, and those guesses were very educated guesses. It wasn't just a total flip of the coin. So I would say she went in knowing 98% of the material, and then probably one or two of them just guessed it and, and got them right, which is great. Last year we won the regional title and we weren't expecting to and that's the first time our program's done that in history so that was a really incredible feeling going up and grabbing the trophy and hugging all of my teammates and my coaches. It was incredible. Extraordinarily consistent in her, in her position there and uh, this year she gets to play with one of her really close friends which is great. She's played with my daughter for a couple of years at two dubs and this year we shook things up a little bit. Um, but Julie's been a regional finalist a number of years, a state quarter finalist, SEC winner every one of her years she's won SECs. Um, it's great to see some of that consistent come in and she's really shown a lot of confidence as she's uh, come through the program. She's almost a totally different kid looking at her as a senior, as a freshman and you know you hope that happens with kids but it certainly happened with Julie. She's turned into a really big part of the program, a really, uh, really good leader for us. Well, I'm not going into econ, I'm going into engineering and photography, but I definitely will use it in financial aspects and hopefully I can do something with engineering economics in the future. Uh, Milton Friedman. Uh, economist? Economist? Yeah. <laughs> Pete Sampras? That's Wimbledon. Adam Smith? Economist. Frederick Hayek? Economist? Alright. Andy Murray? Wimbledon. Marion Bartoli? Wimbledon? Very good. Alright. <laughs> uh, Eleanor Ostrom? Economist? Boris Becker? Tennis player at Wimbledon. Billie Jean King? Wimbledon. Paul Vol Volker? Economist. And Janet Yellen. 